Good day, everybody, and welcome back. This is day three of our The Outer Worlds walkthrough. So we're continuing with the main quest. Yesterday, we got to the geothermal plant and we shifted the electricity. We rerouted it to the city back down over here, Edgewater, uh, and away from the botanical lab. Uh, so Adelaide here wanted us to reroute it from the city to her and the city wanted us to reroute it from her to them to force these guys out so that we can get our power core for our ship. So I think these people are going to be kind of pissed at us. So I'm not sure if they're going to attack us on site when we get in, but we got to go in there to try to convince them to come back to the city and uh, to try to get the power core. So this is one of these decisions uh, that you make in the game that's a permanent one. It happens pretty early on. Some other other games you make it quite quite a ways through the game before you have to make such a big decision. So let's get in here and see how they react to us. There's a whole pile of people there. I don't know if they're all going to attack me or what. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Do go talk to her? That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Uh, this isn't personal. I need the power regulator. You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. What happened to you anyways? My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Well, I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I need some help. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Ah, uh, Soylent Green. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, what happens when you run out of corpses, lady? Water cemeteries got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go talk to these couple of people here. See if we can smooth things over a little bit. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. I know it's my Whoa. fault. Miss Parvati, <laughs> you're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. I seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. That's true. I'm just trying to get I've my ship off the ground. in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Yeah, let's do this. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Is there a third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. All right, I'll let you know if I need you. I'd be grateful. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Mm, that could work. All right, so I'll get you a manual. Maybe that'll... Get you to leave. And we gotta talk to. Who else do we need to talk to? Yes. This one here. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. I think you should the go back to Edward. Weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. All right. I'll tell you what I can. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta find Zoe for you, eh? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. All right. What is it? So, we have the community center. It's not down the road. Yeah, let's see. 
What do we need to do now then? Yeah, so we're gonna get the books for Thomas. Find Zoe for Grace. Get the power regulator though first. I almost forgot about that. Okay. Let's get back to my ship. I can actually fix my guns and stuff. And if we pass by this community center, we'll see if we can find this book. I thought I saw it down the road here. Was it one of these buildings? We'll see if we can find this book. What's that noise? So we've got some museum stuff here. So these are some of the beasties we're gonna have to fight. Primals. These guys look pretty tough.
All right. Let's see if we get any clues as to where this book is. All right. Second floor. We can maybe get a key card. That's too bad. Ooh. Okay, great. Do I have a pristine shotgun? What do we have over here? And the stuff on it. Let's see about our armor. Yeah, that's a bit better than that. And I picked up a shotgun. Pristine. Yeah, there we go. See how it goes. Actually, we should probably change our quest here. Might show us where the book is. Vending oh, machine, how are you? It's not the best choice. It's Spencer's choice. It's really just showing us the door. Now we need to find out where could this book be? Can we loot this guy? All right.
tough to hack that. All right, let's head upstairs. Could this book be? Oh, I'm back here. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's change our quest back here. Get back to our ship. Okay, let's see if we can find the ship. through town again and have the loading. Ooh. I don't know if we're ready to fight those guys yet. Fight these marauders. Huh? So I've been fighting these guys. ship. If we want to try fighting some primals after we deal with the ship. Maybe we'll do that to end off the day.
Is this your ship? Ooh. Oh my star, she is just <laughs> so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's she just drive? dove right in there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Yeah, I figure you don't want to go back. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Mm, yeah, sure thing. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Actually, I wonder if we got a few cabins. I wonder if we can have a few people in there. All right. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Yep. What can I do for you, Captain? I got the power you know regulator. How to install a power regulator? I think so. I gotta press X. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Okay. It looks like a HAL from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Put in this power module. Yeah, we'll go back and talk to our friend. Friendly ship. What can I do for you, Captain? Oh, I installed the power Our regulator. systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Okay. Let's do it. Request from Dr. Phineas Wells. All right. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. 
The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Yeah, we don't need that. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. All right, I'll go talk to her. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Okay, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Sounds good. Oh, let's see the navigation terminal here. Oh, I see. That's where we were. Okay, well, we got unfinished business on Terra. I think we're going to uh, go back there. Now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. All right. We can deliver the book to our pal. And let's see, where is he? Oh, we can fast travel there, they're good. Let's get over here. I'll talk to our friend. See if this will get these guys to leave. Any 
luck finding one of those manuals? Yep. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Pair one. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. All right. What's on your mind? Yeah, where's the other one, do you see? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Now let's go back to the I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater and... I'm as good as dead to her. What? Adelaide hates Edgewater. Hates everything Edgewater stands for. Hates what that town does to people. What it did to her. We're the nearest she's got to kin. We go back to Edgewater, we may as well have stuck a knife in her heart. You know where to find me. All right, I'll talk to that dude. And then you. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. I'll tell you what I can. Where do we find her? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. So where is she? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. All right. What is it? Let's get out of here then. See now. Look at that. The snakes come back. Nothing with you. Okay. I need to find how to move this line here. Check out this area here. Oh, 
Well, let's check to see if... Uh... There's any good lootable stuff here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get much. Probably head over this way. Yeah, this guy here. Oh, no ammo. There. That's not happening. Well, we'll see if we can find Zoe over here. came out this far. Well, a lot of marauders are around here. Where we're gonna find Zoe. Level up.
clever. Yeah, I'm carrying too much stuff. Yeah, there's Zoe. How are you there? Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? Yep. I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Yeah, but I was sent to find Why? you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. No, come on back. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Okay. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Why'd you leave? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. All right. Let's get back. Keep blowing myself up here.
Yeah, I'll talk to Grace. She never did the thing with Zoe. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. Alrighty. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined those guys. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. All right. Why don't you go back the to the matter's Edward. been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're going to have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not going to forgive us. She never talked to us again. Yeah, Thomas did the same thing. Edgewater's not just a town to Adelaide. It's a symbol of everything that's wrong with this colony. A big, heartless machine of metal and gears grinding workers down to dust. We're the closest thing Adelaide's got to a family. We go back to Edgewater, she's going to feel betrayed. Sure, suit yourself. I'll be here. All right, let's go deal with the reed then. Actually, we can fast travel, can't we? in Edgewater. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house, no place for a traveler. Yeah. Let's talk to Reed. Another day at the cannery. This might start a war, but we'll see where how it goes. Where's that guy anyways? Over here. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to Go you. Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veils spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change, people change, but the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. All right. 
Let me... Go ahead. I want to talk to you about... Uh... I missed my chance to talk I to you about it. I appreciate what you've done for us. Yeah, she's not going to come then back. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Yeah, you change the leadership. I'm a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Oh, she's not gonna Unless come you can demonstrate to me that we are helpless without her. I see no reason why I should stand down. She'll help out the place. Yeah. She can grow food. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Growing crops with a special fertilizer. And when you say special fertilizer, you mean what exactly? Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Yeah, what are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Yeah, why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. Huh? I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. See you later. Well, tell Adelaide about this. I wonder if we can fast travel from here. I guess not. And we'll fast travel from here, can we? I guess not. Yeah, I'll go talk to Adelaide. You'll be happy.
Oh, yeah, we can get one of these guys. One of these guys owes us money, I think, right? I could really go for some salt too. Hey, Miss Pavati. I could really go for some salt too now. Not today. Mm. Just helping this fella. Now that one of you guards owed money to this guy. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Yeah. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah. You run into any trouble? Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners, skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Alright, these are all side quests. We don't need to do this right now. Let's finish things up down here. Look at that. The snakes come back. Yep, talk Reed into leaving. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Yeah, Edgewater's gonna do well with you. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Okay, have fun. I'll talk to you. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Adelaide said that? Yep. Was she sober at the time? I never imagined she'd step foot in Edgewater long as Reed ran the town. Something must have changed in Edgewater. Adelaide's good as family. If she's going back, so are we. All right, good. You too, lady. I'll let you know. Never liked Reed much. Can't say I'm sorry he's gone. All right, guys, let's get back to the ship. back on the ship. We've done quite a bit of stuff on Terra 2. Move the main story line and move the quests a little further. So I think uh, our main quest 
Yep. Big chunk of our main quest is done here. Now we're ready to go down to the Groundbreaker and then so we can uh, figure out how to get to Monarch. And we'll do that tomorrow. So if you liked the game, if you like these walkthrough videos, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And we'll be back for the next part tomorrow. Thanks for watching.